today's activity is happy words. So what we're going to do is pick five words uh, that describe you and we're going to decorate some objects uh, with these words and then you can keep these to remind yourself just how great you are. So I'm going to just show you what art materials we need and then if you like you can pause the video, go and get your materials and then come back. Okay, so first off we need um, some coloured pens and some coloured pencils, okay? And then a pair of scissors. If you're working um, on your own and you need an adult to help you with the scissors, then just ask, I'm sure they won't mind. Um, and then we're gonna need some found objects to write your words on. So um, I've got like a lollipop stick, I found some post-it notes that are shaped like a rainbow, some stones in the back garden, some coloured card, just whatever you can find lying around the house. If you can if you can write and draw on it, then that's perfect. Okay, just make sure you ask permission before you do um, draw on it. Okay, so that's what we need. So if you want to pause it here, you can do. Okay, welcome back. Hi. So I'm just going to show you what I've done as an example. So these are some of the things that I've been working on. So I had some plain yellow paper and I cut out a heart and um, some of the words that I used to describe myself are kind. And then on my post-it note, um, I wrote thoughtful because I think I'm quite thoughtful. And then I'm definitely creative um, and I'm strong and I'm friendly. So what I did first, um, because it's quite hard to describe yourself, and if you are struggling, you could always ask your family members, see what they think about you, that might be quite nice. Okay, so what I did, I sat there with a pen um, and a piece of paper, and I just thought about all the things that I could describe myself as, um, and I wrote them down. Okay, I don't know if you can see that there. There we go. Okay, so maybe if you're struggling with that, just ask for a little bit of help. Okay, so let's get started. I'll just move all this to one side. So I'm going to take my five chosen objects. So I've got a little rainbow um, on a stick. I've got an actual stick. I've got a stone. And I've got some post-it notes, so I'm just going to take one and careful not to rip it because they're really thin these. Um, and then some paper. So I've chose yellow paper because yellow is one of my favourite colours, it's nice and happy and bright. So, oh, what shall I start with? I think the first thing I'm going to do is the lollipop stick. I'll just put that on there. So what I did was I chose the rainbow colours to write creative because rainbows are quite um, a, a good thing to do. They always cheer you up, don't they? So I've got to take my red pen and I'm just going to put the C for creative to start it off. There we go. And then I'm going to take my orange and I'm going to do an R. If you need help spelling, then again, just ask your family members. I'm sure they won't mind. And then I'm going to do my E in a nice yellow. And then green. And then my blue. Some people might get a little bit nervous about um, writing onto the the paper or on the surface straight away with pen because you might be afraid of making mistakes if it's bothering you that much then you can take a pencil and you can always um, do the next letter in pencil so it's create even i need to look at my example to know where i'm going so you could always write the word down and then copy it from the word or get your parent to or, or an adult okay so the next letter is an i so I know that if I did that wrong, I could rub it out if, if it was really bothering me. And then you can go over that eye. So I'm going to use this purple to go over it. Okay. And then I'm going to do the V. 
I like happy accidents sometimes though. I make quite a lot of accidents um, and they always turn out really good. You know, it's, it's just one of those things. Just let go a little bit and have a bit of fun. Um, you know, no one's going to be marking this, are they? It's just going to be your work. Um, you know, your creative work that you can put in your bedroom or in the house. So what I've done, I've finished this lollipop stick now and it says creative. Okay, so what I wanted to do is put a couple of sunshines on either side. Now that's optional and you can put whatever you like. Um, but yeah, I just thought this would brighten it up a little bit. So it doesn't take too long. This activity is quite simple and quick. You can spend lots of time on it if you, you know, if you're really bored. You can spend ages decorating it. Okay. So that's my first example. That's creative on a lollipop stick. Okay. So then I'm going to move on to my next one. I'll just put that over here. And then I'm going to do, I'll do this one next. Okay. This nice little rainbow. And on my example, I put friendly. Yes. I am very friendly. I'm going to pick purple because purple is one of my favourite colours as well. Okay, so this is quite small. So I have to be quite slow when I'm doing it and I have to hold it in place. So I'm just going to start writing friendly. And I'm going to follow the rainbow around. So you might want to turn it a little bit. Friendly. There we go. There we go. There we go. A happy accident right there, but it's okay. We'll just make that tail a little bit thicker. There we go. Friendly. Okay. So that's that one done. And then, that was quite quick, that one actually, wasn't it? And then I think we'll do the stone next. So the stone, I chose to write strong on the stone because I am quite a strong person, um, which is a really good quality, I think. So I'm going to pick black um, to go on the stone because I think black will stand out really well. So I'm going to, this is a bit tricky this one because the stone's only small. In my back garden I've got really small stones, um, but you might have big stones. Um, or if you're at the park the next, having a walk, maybe you could have a look and see if you can find any bigger stones. Okay, so I'm going to start by writing strong. I'm just trying to figure out how to hold this. Okay, so I'm going to start with an S. And then T. There we go, strong. And then what I'm going to do is pick a nice red colour because black and red look really good. They always remind me of a ladybird actually. So with the red I'm just going to put some flowers on it and I like flowers and I think it might just make it stand out a little bit more. There we go. And again you can decorate it however you like. There we go. Now when you're doing this, if you touch the area where you've just drawn, it might come off on your fingers. So um, just be careful not to touch that area. Just try and hold it at the bottom and then give it a blow or just set it aside to dry. Uh, what I find really good, which I haven't actually done this time, if you've got any PVA glue or, or any wet glue, once it's dry, just go over it with the glue and then that'll act as like a sealer for it so it won't smudge, okay, and it'll be completely see-through when it dries, so don't worry about that, okay. So there you go, that's my stone. Um, I'm going to do my rainbow post-it note next. Um, and then for this one, I'm going to put thoughtful because I think I'm very thoughtful and I'm going to choose red. Okay. So, sometimes I worry, am I going to fit all the, all the words on equally? Um, I think it does look nice when you do that. And again, you can use a pencil if you like, just to make sure that you get them all on. Um, but again, 
this is about being creative. So what I'm going to do now is show you that it still looks good even when we don't fit all the letters on in the same way. Okay, so I'm going to I'm going to deliberately do this just to show you that it still looks good. So I'm going to write the word thoughtful. But I'm going to use lots of different sized letters. And then look, I'm running out of space now. So there we go, I can just put an L in there. So that says thoughtful. But look how, how good it looks, you know? Yeah, I think that looks good. Okay, and then last, I've saved um, my yellow piece of paper and I'm gonna be doing a heart. So I need my scissors. And again, if you need help with scissors, just ask a parent or an adult to help you, okay? So with your scissors, uh, you can cut out whatever shape you like. You can do a circle, a square, you can leave it as it is. Um, you can do a flower, anything. But I'm gonna do a love heart, okay? Because my word is kind, and I think that sits very well in a love heart. So I'm gonna take the scissors, I tell you, it might be an idea for you to take one of your pencils and draw a love heart. Okay, but if you feel confident to do it without drawing a love heart, then that's that's great. Go ahead and do that. Okay, so now I've got my love heart and the paper. I can now take my scissors and just cut around it. So if you are you I've used a yellow but if you're using a color that really stands out and you're worried that it might it might show up then what you can do see I've, I've not gone deliberately on the line just to show you so what you can do is just turn it over and then you don't see any of the lines okay so not to worry and then with this I'm going to take um, I'm gonna take purple but I'm gonna take a light purple and I'm going to write the word kind. I'm just going to write it in the middle. There we go. And then what I'm going to do to make it look a bit, um, a bit prettier is I'm going to put some flowers on. So I'm going to just do some dots. I do like flowers. Um, and then I'm going to take, hmm, what colour? I'm going to take pink. And I'm going to do the leaves. So to do this, I just go like that. Okay, and they don't have to be equal. You can do it really rough. So they can look like different flowers. Okay. And then I'm going to take a green and I'm going to do the leaves. So again, you really don't have to um, do the same as me. You can choose how to decorate it however you like. Okay, there we go. So that's my finished piece. And that is kind, kind in a love heart. Okay, so if you do get stuck, speak to your to your adults okay and um good luck with it i really want to see your finished pieces so um take a photograph uh upload them uh and i uh, hope to see you soon take care bye <laughs>